Unto the Lord be the glory, great things he has done. Unto the Lord be the glory, great things he has done. Unto the Lord be the glory, great things he has done. To the Lord be the glory, great things He has done. Unto the Lord be the glory, great things He has done. Rambadaya Kapasuku Potos Ridiboko Sakaradaya Mansa Tapalikiti Kasa Tapaliki Burudubu Sata Hallelujah In Jesus' name Father in heaven, we thank you, we give you all the glory all the honor, all the power, all the praise, all the majesty and the dominion, the maker of the heavens and the earth and the seas, and everything that in them is, Lord, unto you are we gathered, revealed secrets to us. May our hearts induct a good matter. May we live this class better than the way we came. Take all the glory. Blessed be your holy name. Lord, grant us testimonies, O God. And we thank you because you have done so in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. Champions, shout fire. Shout ururu. Shout muzuzu. Shout mafura. Amen and amen. amen. We want to thank the person of the Holy Spirit thank you, Holy for the privilege to be here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And also want to thank our father, Papa Joshua Aguila. Say we love you, Papa. We love you, Papa. 
Oh! Amen and amen. 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 Now, nah, before we share some thoughts with you, we want to tell you that it's very, very, very imperative, very important for you in whatever you do in the house of God. Always give attention to the word of God when it is being preached. Yes, sir. Because whatever you do in the house of God, even though you are doing it for God, it can be a distraction. Martha was cooking even for Jesus to eat. And Jesus said she was distracted. Mm -hmm. Then he said, Mary has chosen that which is needful. The most frustrated set of people that I've ever seen in my life in church are those who serve in God's house. Because many of them are serving, giving their all, but they are not listening to the message. Why those who listen to the message come to share testimonies? And many of times, the kindness a man of God expresses towards them, maybe gives them money and all that, that's about all. It's just the man of God doing his thing, not even God. Because you see, the word of God has intelligence to know those who give attention to it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus said, Mary has chosen that which is needful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not what is necessary, needful. Yes, sir. When you pursue what is needful, you will never be in need. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So once you come to church, no matter what you do, even if I'm the one who told you to do something, sit down, do what you do and pay attention. Because only what we teach you here can make you excel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's the truth. Yes, sir. It is only what we teach you here yes, sir. that can make you excel. Yes, sir. It's just the truth. Yes, sir. Praise God. Yes, sir. If you give attention, you surely flourish. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that you don't call frustrated saying, I did what I was supposed to do. I was always serving each other. I knew people like that. We both served together. And they were always asking me, what are you doing behind the speakers? Because while I'm doing what I'm doing, I'll, be, I'll just be sitting by the speakers. So that I can hear the voice of the man of God preaching. And of course, when I was promoted in church, when I became a leader and I was made compulsorily to always sit in front as a leader, I always find my way to the speakers. I'll go and sit. They say, man, you didn't even sit close at all. <clears throat> Did you see the man of God's jacket? Did you see his shoes? I say, man, I just only heard his voice. But you see, those who were pursuing those things are still there today where they are. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. So... God can give you something that will distract you mm. and yet query you. That's just the truth. So no matter what you do in God's house, pay attention to the message. Don't say, I was doing protocol. So I, I could not, I, I had to show them where they park. He said, no, please put speaker outside. Let's be hearing message. Yes, sir. 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 Since you've been doing protocol, have they stolen anybody's car? No. So, can't you see that God is even doing a better job than you? We're not saying those things are not necessary. What we're saying is that as you do, don't cheat yourself. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Okay. The kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven. That was the only message. Jesus came to preach. Jesus actually did not come preaching about God. That was not his mandate. How can you choose to want to know God when you don't even know what his kingdom is and what it represents? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Knowing God does not give you access to the supernatural. It only brings you into full knowledge. But knowing the kingdom of heaven is what gives you access to the supernatural in terms of miracles. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if you must see miracles in your life, you must understand what the kingdom of heaven is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You must know. Yes, sir. But a time comes where you group yes, sir. out of miracles. You see, when some of us, if I tell you now that I don't desire miracles, you, you say, why would you say that? Everyone needs a miracle. Well, for some of us, we've gone past desiring miracles into knowing the one who gives the miracles. You see, knowing God. Where there is more, that's where grace is multiplied. Where you begin to help. But you see, helping someone is not a miracle. That's actually what is called ministry. You see, like now, teaching you now, this is ministry. Yes, sir. Ministry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then, depending on who you help, if you are helping the, the orphan and the widows, then it is called religion. Yes, sir. James yes, sir. chapter 1, verses 26 to 27. Yes, but if I'm coming now to help you with the word of God, explain the word of God, that's ministry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But if I'm assisting a widow or an orphan, that's called religion. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you see, Christianity is not a religion, but religion is in Christianity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Religion is an activity in Christianity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it's a good one. Yes, sir. It's a godly one. It's a pious one. Yes, sir. Where you help the orphans, the less privileged, that's religion. And God appreciates it. He rewards you for doing that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the only religion in Christianity. So Christianity is too big to be a religion. That's the point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But although, you know, when you are feeling from the ask you what religion, you say Christianity and other. Yeah, for the sake of having a general conversation, you can do that. But if you want to know the nitty gritties of it, Christianity is not a religion, but there is religion in Christianity. Christianity is too big to be a religion. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. But knowing the kingdom of heaven and what pertains to it is what gives you access to the supernatural. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To the miraculous. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, let's show you something. Yes, sir. Go to, go to. Go to James, go to Acts, Acts chapter 8. Acts chapter 8. Acts chapter 8. <coughs> I want to show you something. Actually, have you ever heard the word Christ? Yes, sir. Please answer now. Yes, sir. Christ, Christ, yes, Christ. Now, in, in, generally, many Christians think the word Christ always was in reference to Messiah. Messiah. There were, there was a context in which um, Christ yes, sir. Yes, sir. was in reference to Messiah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There were other contexts in scripture where Christ referred to a place. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If any man be in Christ, yes, sir. Christ there refers to a place. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. But what I want to bring you into is to show you that there is such a word called Christ yes, sir. that actually means the kingdom of heaven. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So see, here you find Jesus Christ preaching Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That means preaching the kingdom of heaven. Yes, sir. Because that is the only way 
the supernatural miracles yes, sir. can happen yes, sir. in your life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have you ever wondered, did Jesus ever need a miracle? Never needed it. Because he preached what brought the miracles. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, you see why I may not desire a miracle yes, in my yes, life? Sir. Yes, sir. Because I know what brings the miracles. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Verse 5. Let, let's read verses 5. Then we'll connect it to verses 12. Yes, sir. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria. Please listen. I, I'll do the reading. Yes, sir. So that you can see something we're trying to bring to you. Yes, then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached what? Christ. 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 He preached Christ. Yes, sir. Say it. He preached Christ. He preached Christ. Please answer. Say he preached, he preached Christ. Please. You know, almost all the time... I keep telling you, don't treat me like a pastor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not a pastor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Quite frankly. And I say this respectfully. I feel insulted when I'm being treated like a pastor. Because I'm not a pastor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know people use that word generically, pastor, pastor. But I'm not a pastor. Yes, sir. Not a pastor. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. And I'm not arrogant about what I am. I'm a prophet and a teacher. And I, and I teach you using the prophetic office that I sit to teach. Yes, sir. That's why I can see your conversation while coming and bring it in the message. And you say you were talking about me. Mm -hmm. But, or I can see what you were discussing in your bedroom. And I just bring it up in the message. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, so, sir. I'm not a pastor. Yes, sir. And please, maybe because I dress like one, I'm not a pastor. Yes, sir. So please answer me. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I, I love pastors, but I'm not a pastor. Yes, sir. I don't even have the temperament. Can't you see I'm already, I don't like to be a pastor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. So, Philip went to Samaria, say it. Philip went to Samaria. And he what? He preached Christ. Christ. Yes, sir. Say it. He preached Christ. Yes, sir. Now, the mistake Christians generally make is to presume that this word Christ will mean Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But actually, here, that word Christ has nothing whatsoever to do with Jesus. Yes, sir. Rather, he is actually trying to say, Luke, who wrote this, is actually trying to say, Philip preached what Jesus preached. And what was it Jesus preached? The kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. Yes, you see, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. you see, yes, sir. then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them and the people with one accord gave attention. Yes, you see, you wonder why people don't listen to you because you talk about Jesus Christ too much. Yes, sir. But if you want them to listen, preach Christ. Yes, sir. Preach yes, sir. the kingdom of heaven. Yes, sir. They will give attention. Yes, sir. No matter the witchcraft. And these people were under heavy witchcraft. Yes, if you read verses 8 into verses 9 yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. to verses 11, they were under heavy witchcraft. Yes, but when Philip came preaching Christ, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. did not even preach about the anointing that breaks the yoke. Did not do so. <coughs> but he preached Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the people gave attention. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, what is preached is what determines the attention you get. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No wonder Jesus learned it from John the Baptist because John the Baptist was the first person to introduce the message of the kingdom of heaven. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, repent from, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yes, and the Bible says Jesus also went about preaching. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Repent for yes, the kingdom sir. of heaven yes, is at hand. Yes, sir. Now, Philip came into this environment densely under the heavy siege of witchcraft. And he came not breaking yokes, but preaching Christ. Yes, sir. And when the people gave attention, the attention they gave to the Christ Philip preached yes, sir. set them free. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See? And the people with one accord gave it unto the things which Philip preached. So, you see, when he says Christ there, 
Christ are is Christ can be things. Yes, things. Yes, sir. You see that? Yes, sir. They gave it to the things. Yes, so Christ can be a thing yes, sir. Yes, sir. that you choose to discuss yes, sir. by the Holy Spirit yes, sir. that pertains to the kingdom yes, sir. of heaven. Yes, sir. The Bible says, they gave it to the things which Philip spake and hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. You see, <clears throat> Christ can empower you to work miracles. You see why you, the worker of miracles, you don't need a miracle for yourself. Yes, sir! But hearing and seeing the miracles which he did, we said that Philip, who worked the miracles, didn't need a miracle for himself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's true. Because whatever he would have needed a miracle for, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Christ already made him what he wanted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He was already a miracle in his life. Have you ever heard people use the expression, you are a miracle yes, to me? Yes, because they have, begun, they have come to see yes, what Christ does in you yes, sir. and yes, sir. what Christ, through them listening to you, has done for them. Yes, sir. So here he says, they, they heard and saw the miracles which he did for unclean spirits, crying with loud voice, came out of many that were possessed with them, and many who, were, who had paralysis, who were taken with paralysis, and were lamed, were healed, and there was great joy. Great joy, not even in heaven, in the city. Yes, sir. Great joy. Yes, sir. In the city, not yes. even in one church, in the city. You can preach Jesus all you want. It will only end within the parameters of a church. But if you preach Christ, it will go beyond the church walls yes, and bring the city. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, go to verses 12. Yes, sir. <clears throat> go to verses 12, please. See, but when they believed Philip, preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God, even though you see the word God here, actually, the, the, the original Greek actually says heaven. Yes, sir. But the reason why they brought God here, the Bible expositors, who were not spiritually minded men, they were just doing it for business because yes, printing Bibles was big business then. Yes, so they put the word God there. Is because they saw the miracle, so they said the power of God did it. But did you see, was power ever mentioned? No. 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 Of course, Jesus said, if I, cast it out, if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then you know the kingdom of God has come. Yes, sir. But yes, sir. can you preach the kingdom of God or you demonstrate the kingdom of God? Demonstrate. You demonstrate it, righteousness, peace, joy, yes, sir. and the Holy yes, Ghost. These are the nature God gives you yes, sir. as a Christian. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You understand? You yes, demonstrate it. You manifest who you are. Yes, sir. If you are a greedy person, you will manifest yes, it. Yes, sir. If you are a righteous person, you will manifest yes, it. Yes, sir. If you are a peaceful person, you will manifest it. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. But here now, actually, what is written as kingdom of God was actually kingdom of heaven. Yes, sir. Because you can't preach the kingdom of God. You can only demonstrate the kingdom of God, but preach the kingdom of heaven. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because that's what Jesus preached. Yes, sir. That's what John the Baptist preached. Yes, sir. And that is what Philip preached. Yes, sir. And he calls it things. Yes, sir. Things. Yes, sir. Things. See? No wonder Jesus will come and say, the kingdom of heaven is like this. The kingdom of heaven is like that. Yes, sir. The kingdom, you know, it was a way of what? Creating an atmosphere for miracles. Yes, sir. One message demons can't stand. One message demons can't stand. Yes, sir. Is the message of the kingdom of heaven. Wow. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can preach Jesus, they will clap for you. Even demons in Acts chapter 19 called Jesus. Yes, sir. They said, Jesus, the resurrected Jesus. Yes, sir. I know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They said, I know. So you can preach Jesus, it doesn't scare a demon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
but preaching things that will give you access to the supernatural, demonic forces don't want that. And preaching Jesus will not do that. Yes, sir. Do you know how many broke and busted Christians there are today who preach Jesus? Many. Yes, sir. Who are still under heavy yes, satanic oppression? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Heavy satanic oppression. And that's why sometimes some people can see people like us and think that we were just fortunate. You say, I don't know why God is using you. Maybe, you know, God has already made up his mind, irrespective of what you do. God is just using you. you. You are stupid to think that way. God will just pick somebody and just say, okay, fine, let me just start using you. Don't you think that the person also needs to make something, make, yes, make contributions? Yes, the Bible says, show yourself approved unto God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But we tell some people, it's been a long time coming. They say, when you are still a young person. I said, man, when do you think I started, really? When do you think I really became a Christian? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. When do you really think? Have you, have you been to the interiors we've been to? <laughs> yeah, one day, a, a, a pastor preached. I attended one service many, many years ago. A pastor preached about demonic attack, demonic, the name of Jesus, how the name of Jesus can cast out devils. This, yeah. When it was done, the biggest mistake he made was to ask any question. He said, hey, does anyone have any question? And I said, I do. <laughs> hmm. And that was the first time I in that church. He said, what's your question? I said, I said, I said sir, have you ever seen a demon? <laughs> he said, no. I said, so what makes you think that what you just said is true? He said, the Bible said it. I said, I know the Bible said it. But from what you were preaching, it didn't sound like you are telling us what the Bible says. You are telling us that we can do it. Mm. So how do we know it works when you have never seen a demon? Mm. Ah. One of the first things I learned in Christianity, even as a minister, is to never preach what is not working for me. So they went preaching the things. Concerning the kingdom of heaven, actually, which was wrongly translated here as kingdom of God by the Bible expositors. Yes, sir, yes, and there's a reason. Because it is only the kingdom of heaven that can be preached. You can't preach the kingdom of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, but Christ can be a thing. Someone say, I, I think that, that could also be a mistake Bible expositors made. They didn't make a mistake there. Actually, you see, when you look at the Old Testament, the Old, sorry. Uh, the old King James. The yes, old sir. King James only have 54 mistakes. Wow. Other versions have over 250 mistakes. Maybe, maybe one day we'll take a class and start looking at the mistakes in the Bible. Because there's need for you to know yes, where certain things were wrongly communicated. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, go to um, Acts chapter 9. Go to Acts chapter 9 so that you know there's a difference between preaching Christ and preaching Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This was after Paul saw God converted. Go to verses 19 into verses 20. Let's read from verses 19 into verses 20. And when here he went to meet the apostles. So, and, and when he had received food, meat there, he was strengthened. Then saw, then was saw certain days with the disciples, which were at Damascus, and straightway he preached. See. You see, if you check your version, the original manuscript actually said he preached the Christ. The Christ. I don't know who has it in their Bible. Man, some of you are looking at your Bible, you are not answering me. Who has it as the Christ? Well, I don't know which version you have. This one too is not. I think this is a, this, this is a new King James. The original manuscript actually said the Christ. The Christ. And there was no way Paul here could have preached, there was no way Paul could have preached, uh, preached Christ, things pertaining to the kingdom of heaven because he just got converted. Yes. 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 You don't know that much about the things of the kingdom of heaven to preach it. So here, Christ here, that he's been talking about, that, that he's been referred to, is actually Jesus Christ. Yes. Because remember, he just got converted in this same chapter. And he asks, who are you, Lord? In verse 6, he said, in verse 5 into verse 6, he says, I'm Jesus of Nazareth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why do you persecute me? Yes, sir. So he went 
and preach the Christ. And you get to see that he's talking about Jesus here. Preach the Christ in the synagogues that he is the son of God. You see that? Yes, sir. See that? And that did not bring miracles. Why? You see why we said preaching Jesus Christ, you can only do it within the cor corridors of the churches. Yes, yes, Notice it was only in the synagogues he preached it. Haven't you heard enough about Jesus? Yes. But what do you know about the kingdom? Yes. Because Jesus didn't come preaching about himself. Yes. He came preaching about the kingdom. Yes. John the Baptist who even had the Holy Spirit from his mother's womb, who was the greatest of all, born of women, did not come preaching Jesus. Did not come even preaching God, but rather came testifying, preaching that the kingdom of heaven yes. is coming. Yes. There is something about that kingdom. The supernatural that you desire, you will swim in it if you can have access. Yes, sir. And Jesus came preaching it and told them, actually, that kingdom, there's violence in it. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. So win the battle first. You know, people think that, well, Jesus already. <sighs> <laughs> Jesus already won the battle for us. I've heard preachers preach it. Please answer. Right? Yes, many times. Jesus already won the battle. Yes, he already conquered and, and defeated the enemy. Yes, he did it all. He did it for us. Yes, and you, you find the people. Amen. Yes, he did it all. He did it all. And, and they are very emotional. Oh, they are crying. When I think about what the Lord did for me. What did he do for you? You weren't even conceived. Your father had not even met your mother. So what did he do for you? How, how can you say that? Why can't I say that? Let's ask him, what did he do for me? <laughs> Jesus said, I, I, I defeated the enemy for you. I wasn't even conceived. Well, Jesus knew I was going to come into the earth. If Jesus was really going to help us, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. like the way they preached, he did. Yes, sir. Then he should have come right after Adam fell. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you know how many people have perished before yes, Jesus was conceived? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What happens to those guys? Yes, sir. If Jesus really wanted to help the whole world as they preached it, he should have come right after Adam was kicked out of the garden. Because God flushed an entire human race and saved only eight people. Flushed them out with flood. Why didn't Jesus stop it? And those guys that were flushed in the floods of Noah, where did God flush them to? Heaven? So they were condemned because angels married their daughters. It was not every man's daughter that angels married. Otherwise, an angel would have married Noah's wife. You don't understand? Angels were already marrying women before Noah was born. Yes, sir. Who married his mother? It was not every woman in the days of Noah that angels married. Yes, the Bible says they went for the finest women. Yes, sir. Someone yes, said, thank God Noah's mother was not too fine. No. <laughs> <laughs> and, and thank God Noah's wife is not too fine. <laughs> but Noah's sons also were married too. Yes. Someone said, brother, see, can't you see? That's just the only best way you can explain it. The women were in too fine for angels to be interested in. It's just, come on, man. It's, gosh. It's just madness. It's just madness. If Jesus really wanted to help, he should have come right from the fall of Adam. There would have been no need for the flood. It's true, it's true, sir. Very true. Even Jesus will tell you, look, I don't know why they say it to see. 
He said, the first time Jesus visited me in Brooklyn, I, I still remember what he said to me. He said, knowledge is lacking. Yes, sir. That's why I brought you to America. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I laughed at him. And he wasn't laughing. He was looking at me staring. Ah. Just like that, I'm looking at you. Yes, sir. Because I was seated, he was, look, he was standing. Yes, sir. He was looking. And he was not laughing. And I laughed at him. <laughs> I still laughed at him. So he asked me, why are you laughing? <laughs> now, he don't think he was, so I said, Jesus has a soft voice. He's a lie. <laughs> so I said, he, he had my hand, I fed the love of God. Don't be fooled by what you see on TV. Can't you see, it's because of the depression. That's why Jesus had to come and rob your heart, because you were depressed. No, some of us, we, are, we can never be depressed. <laughs> So, if you're expecting Jesus to come and comb your hair, to rub your hair, and say, say, when you're not his girlfriend, go and sit down. Now, I'm not saying those things don't happen. It all depends on the person involved. So, I say, because Jesus knows I'm a very sensitive, emotional person, aren't you tired of being sensitive? Even need to say makes you sensitive. Anything makes you sensitive. <laughs> Stimulus plan now, you're already sensitive. <laughs> no, I have a better testimony. But they, they tell us Jesus fought all the forces of darkness for us and won all the battle and conquered all the enemy for us. Well, if that is true, why do we still have battles today? So I say, because. We are ignorant. <laughs> well, I still know those, at least to a very large extent, are spiritually matured. Yes, they yes, know sir. something. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the enemy has attacked them. Yes, sir. Wow. Even Paul, Paul testified. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How Satan hindered him three times. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three times. Yes, sir. He said, I wanted to come and visit you. Yes. Satan hindered me yes. three times. Yes, sir. And then prayed to the Lord to chase away the messenger of Satan three times. Yes. And the Lord said, my grace is sufficient for you. Yes. So wh wh where do you put that? If Jesus already fought all the battles and won all the battles, yes, sir. why was Paul, whom Jesus appeared to, be having satanic trouble. So I said, well, because he, Jesus testified that he must suffer for my name's sake. Jesus testified that he will suffer. <laughs> uh, actually, the Bible did say in Acts chapter 19, Jesus told um, Ananias that Paul was going to suffer for his name's sake. Yes, but the suffering, where did it come from? It came from fellow Jewish men. Yes, sir. The Gentiles, yes. who were heavily under demonic attack, even accepted Paul. Yes. But it was the fellow Jews who would come and influence the minds of the Gentiles against Paul. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It has always been, it is your own tribe that will finish you. <laughs> your own countrymen. The people that have fought us in this country the most are Nigerians. Nigerians. Nigerians, wonderful people. And typically, when they ask me, where are you from? I always say, I'm not from. I say, ah, I'm from Zion. Yes, sir. They say, they say yes, but you are Nigerian. I say, no, I'm not from Zion. I'm not Nigerian at all. Ah, that Nigerian spirit. I don't like that spirit. I'm telling you. It's a crap spirit. When you see another person rising, you are looking for means to pull the person down. That, that's, it's a crap spirit. A lot of Nigerians do it. Say, so, yeah, I've been here since you want to come and pass me. The crap spirit. And I always wonder, wonderful. So you yourself, you will not move. And, and somebody should not move past you. <laughs> it's madness. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> and those are the same people who say, Lord, I thank you for all you have done for me. What has God done for you? Or you are the one doing things to people. Wow. <laughs> Here they preached Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He preached the Christ. Here he's talking about how Jesus, how Paul preached Jesus. Yes, but where? In the market squares or in church? Yes, sir. Church, church, the synagogues. Yes, sir. But if the people must listen to you outside, it must go beyond Jesus. Yes, you see, even in Mark chapter 5, when you read from verses 19, Mark chapter 5, when you read from verses 19 down to verses 20, when Jesus hid the demoniac in Gadara, who had a legion, 6,000 demons, the guy actually said to Jesus, hey, let me go with you. And what did Jesus say to him? Jesus said, go to your friends and tell them what the Lord has done for you and how he had compassion on you. You see? Yes, sir, yes. Jesus did not make himself the focus. Yes, he made what the Holy Spirit did the focus because it was the Holy Spirit Jesus was referring to as the Lord, not himself. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Because 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17 says, now the Lord is that spirit, and Jesus is not his spirit. Yes, they once called him a spirit. He said, no, I'm not a spirit. He said, because the spirit does not have flesh and bones, yes, sir, as yes, you see me have. Yes, sir, yes, sir. But Jesus said, God is a spirit. Yes, sir. God is a spirit. God is a spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And now Jesus said, the Lord is that spirit. And what is even God called over the years before Jesus was ever conceived? The Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The yeah. Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Lord has always been called the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which means Yahweh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which Galatinos in 1520 interpreted as Jehovah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Moses never used the word Jehovah, never in his life. It was a man by the name of Galatinos that initiated the word Jehovah, which everybody is using today, yes, sir. in the year 1520. Yes, sir. We just sang Jehovah is your name just yes, now. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, if I started saying, my Yahweh is your name, yes, sir. why is we just changing the song? <laughs> what happened to Jehovah? Yes, but really, it was propounded by a Hebrew scholar by the name of Galatinos. And the reason for him doing that was just to give a gender, a masculine gender personality. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To God. Because before then, God was always known as El Shaddai, mm -hmm. the strong and breasted one, yes, sir. like a woman. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So God said to Moses, Abraham, your father, Isaac, and Jacob knew me as El Shaddai. So you see, God revealed himself as a woman to them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That was what he provided for them. So they had that picture of God being a woman. God now said, actually, Moses, I'm Yahweh. Ah, yes, sir. That means I'm the sovereign owner yes, sir. of the universe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Adonai, to call God even Adonai is an insult. Yes, because men have attained the yes, rank of Adonai. Yes, Abraham was called Adonai. Yes, when he wanted to bury his wife in Canaan, the men of Canaan called him Adonai. Yes, the angels that visited Lot in Sodom and Gomorrah, Lot called them Adonai. Yes, when he says, my Lord, actually, the word Lord there is Adonai. Angels were referred to as Adonai. Men, successful men, men who have attained, like now, our president, the yes, president of this nation yes, is an Adonai. Yes, Adonai means master of territory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yahweh means sovereign owner yes, sir. of the universe. Yes, sir. <laughs> so which one is higher? Yahweh. Yahweh. So to call God, to call God Adonai. Adonai. God say, what? Brother, they are calling you. <laughs> Not to me. <laughs> so you see, so many of us who claim they worship God, they do it heavily in ignorance. Yes, they are so embalmed in ignorance. Yes. Then, of course, Jehovah was propounded by Galatinos. But God accepts whatever you call him. So if you call him Jehovah, he will answer you. Yes, but really, he himself never used the word Jehovah for himself. Even Moses never did. Yes, sir. 
So if you tell Moses, Moses, you were the one who said we should be saying Jehovah. Moses said, when? <laughs> you are old. <laughs> Moses never used the word Jehovah. Yes, and Jehovah just simply means man of war. Yes, sir. But that's not what God was telling um, Moses. But you can understand why Galatinos brought in Jehovah. We'll just explain it to yes. you. Yes, sir. Because a woman doesn't really just go to fight. Yes, so he had to use the word Jehovah. But God actually said, I am Yahweh, yes, sir. the sovereign owner of the entire universe. Yes, sir. Okay, now, you see why knowing God increases the multiplication of grace. But knowing the things that pertains to the kingdom of heaven gives you access to the miraculous. You, yes, see, you see why we went into all the scriptures? Yes, sir. So, again, you must understand the context in which anytime you study your Bible, you must always understand the context in which Christ is used. So that you don't generalize and think that every time the word Christ is used, it is always in reference to Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, now go to Matthew chapter 11. Matthew chapter 11. Matthew chapter 11. Well, we want to show you something. And, and, and um, what we're about to show you will give you a summary of why Jesus was always preaching in parables about the kingdom of heaven and why the kingdom of heaven needed to be preached. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's amazing. See, so anytime we call you, you always go, God, 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 God. Man, can you just say something else? Every time it's always God, God, God. Someone say, I can't, I can't do it without talking about God. You are stupid. Because even Jesus didn't do it that way. Yes, wow. That's the point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. It's true. Jesus would say, the kingdom of heaven is like a man who threw a net into the fish, into the sea, and caught many fishes. And the people listening could relate. So you see, when he mentioned fishing, the people gave attention because many of the people there were into fishing business. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who, who, who had servants and he gave them talents and says, go and trade with it. Wow. They could relate with it because there were farmers there. There were bankers in their midst. One time Jesus said, why didn't you put the money in the bank? There were bankers there. See, they could relate with Jesus preached. To, see, that's what the kingdom of heaven is all about. Yes, Preaching what pertains to the daily lives of the people. Yes, sir. But we don't seem to do that. It's true. Yes, sir. Say, my mandate is just to preach about Jesus. He's all that matters. Listen, even that song. I like the song. I put you in front. Your, yes, sir. Your, sir. Yes, sir. I'll put you in front. I'll make room for two. Do you, yes, sir. you and I, Jesus. Yes, sir. You see, <laughs> you see I, I like this song. I play it all the time. Yes, but I know that based on what I've come to know, it's not consistent with what I know. Yes, but the minister who sang that song may be singing based on his own revelation. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes, so I don't, and the thing is selling. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go on YouTube now. He has fans. Do yes, you understand? Yes, so, yes, sir. Oh, he's selling. Bye. Do you understand? But if you say you want to make room for two, mm -hmm. for Jesus, yes, Jesus will disappoint you big time. Because the the only place recorded in, G in scripture that room was made for Jesus, he went to sleep. Do you understand? He just went to sleep. Do you understand? So, except you say you want to come and sleep with him, when there's storm outside. <laughs> in fact, they didn't even make room. They gave him a hove. He went to the bottom of the sea. Jesus is looking for room. He, he just he wants to sleep. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So he will appreciate it if you make room for you think Jesus doesn't like that song. He will like it, praise God. Oh yeah now. But if you think he's coming into your life, making room for you, so you and I, Jesus, you are all that matters. The one that all that you said matters, he's sleeping. Oh, 
He will sleep on you. Yes. Then the Bible says, you work out your own salvation. Yes. Leave Jesus alone. Yes. Even Jesus testified, in that day I will not pray for you. Yes. Because the Father himself loves you. You are not making room for you and the Father. You are making room for Jesus. Jesus has said he has finished his own. He is not going to do anything for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, there are some people who think that when they pray, Jesus takes the matter to the Lord and says, Lord. Yes. So maybe that's why they are making room. Yes. Jesus said, I will not do it. Yes. So don't make room for, I'm telling you, you just made a big mistake. Because he will sleep on you. Yes, so I say, Rossi, that's your own. <laughs> hey, thank God it is how we see it. It's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> So they are, I don't know why that song came up now. Is it not Kingdom of Heaven you are talking about? Yes, sir. <laughs> why did you have to just mention that? Uh, uh, Matthew chapter 11. Let's leave, let's re let's leave room for two. <laughs> oh. I, li I like the I like the beats. I like the song. I really like the song. Do you understand? <laughs> I really like the song. Yes, sir. I played it a lot, quite frankly. Yes, sir. But I'm not playing it to make room. Do you understand? Yes, I played as one of the songs I like. Do you understand? Yes, it, yes, it's a nice song on my playlist. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So, but if I say that song ministered to me, I'll be lying to you. There are many songs that don't minister to. I have them. I just play them. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> but to say the song really ministered to me, Aish! the thing touched my spirit. I was weeping on this. There's no weeping. Matthew chapter 11. Now go to verses 12. Into verses 13. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let, let's start from verses 13 first. I want, I want to show you something. He says in verses 13, For all the prophets say it. For all the prophets. Say it again. For all the prophets. With the exception of none. He says all the prophets prophesy. All the prophets and the law. That means the teachers of the law. That means prophets and teachers. Now. Yes, sir. And all the prophets and teachers of the law prophesied unto John. Do you understand? Yes, sir. That will tell you something about John the Baptist. John the Baptist was the fulfillment of prophecy. Yes, sir. He was the full stop of every prophecy. Oh, what a child. So we say, prophecies were given before Jesus was born. And Jesus with his own mouth said he stopped at John the Baptist. Bam. Okay, so how about the prophecies that were prophesied concerning you, Jesus? Jesus said, no prophet prophesied my birth. You know, people think Jesus, prophets prophesied the, the birth of Jesus. When they even talk about the virgin will give birth yes, in Isaiah chapter 7. Yes, it, it, I, you know, it's amazing how preachers over the years bought into that lie. When Isaiah chapter 7 said, a virgin shall give birth and you shall call his name Emmanuel. Yes, you shall call his name, right? You shall give yes, birth to his son. Was Jesus ever named Emmanuel? No! So say, Emmanuel means God with us. Jesus is God with us. <laughs> the virgin Isaiah was referring to was Jerusalem. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jerusalem. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I get it. And there are two sides to the word son. Because there will be a new Jerusalem that will be coming. Yes, That's also his son. Yes, sir. Then Jesus will be crowned king yes, sir. over the new Jerusalem. That's another son. Yes, sir. But that one, the one that will be crowned king is not the one a virgin gave birth to. Yes, sir. Because Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 to 6 says, Jesus has been made so much better than the angels. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so because of that, he was appointed heir. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. But the virgin being talked about is the city of Jerusalem. And Ezekiel, the prophet, brought clarity to it in Ezekiel chapter 23. If you read the whole chapter 23, but if you read from verses 1 to 4, he says, there was a mother who had two virgin daughters. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Yeah. The first one is Ohola and the other one is Oholiba. Ohola, the Bible says, is Israel, Samaria. Yes, and Oholiba is Jerusalem. Yes, sir. But it says two virgin daughters. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But people don't understand the interpretation of prophetic language. They think the virgin there was speaking of Mary. Yes, the virgin being talked about by Isaiah in chapter 7 was Jerusalem. Jerusalem was the virgin being talked about. Not Mary. Because Jesus said, all the prophets prophesied. And when he got to John the Baptist, it stopped. You see why he took an angel to go by himself, to go and give the message to Zechariah concerning John. A prophet was not sent to Zechariah. Yes, yeah. You see why the same angel by himself, six months later, went to go and meet Mary. A prophet was not sent to Mary. Yes, because... Consigning prophecies, it has already ended. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because John the Baptist, his birth was going to be the full stop of all the prophecies of prophets. Yes, sir. Wow. So, so why do we still prophesy today as prophets? You see, the ministry of the prophets today in the New Testament is to confirm to you what God has already been witnessing to you. Yes, sir. That's primarily the ministry. The gifts of the Spirit, the manifestation of the gifts of the Spirit is to authenticate to you that God, the Spirit of God, has called them to be an instrument of divine confirmation of what God has once witnessed to you. Maybe when you were born or before you were born or in your dreams, in your visions, things you have heard on the side or to just point you to the right direction with the gift of the word of wisdom to show you God's plans for the future. Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then prophets are not just necessarily only sent to individuals. There are prophets sent, sent to nations. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Globe. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, to the sir. globe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, so it is, for instance, now, if I come now and I, uh, someone say, prophesy to me, prophesy to me, give me prophecy one on one, that's the least. Mm -hmm. There are prophets who have been called to deal with national matters. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, I mean, if we come to tell you, I mean, we told you guys, um, even last week, we were telling you something is going to happen in Italy. Yes, See this thing, this, mm -hmm. yes, and from here, we'll tell you. Even global events, things that, are, that will happen. What will happen in India? What will happen in Pakistan? This and that. And then you are coming to say, give me personal prophecy. And we say, your name is Bimbo. You say, man of God is true. <laughs> We're dealing with global matters, fixing things. But there's a reason why Jesus was saying this. He says, all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. Because Jesus now was going to be an instrument through which the apostolic ministry was going to be ushered in. Because every true apostle of Jesus Christ today must be someone Jesus appears to. Until Jesus appears to you, even if you call yourself an apostle, you are not. That's the first requirement of yes, an apostle. Yes, you must be someone Jesus appears to. Yes, sir. In spite of the criteria. Yes, sir. Then you must be someone who has raised the people. Yes, sir. Even when you are not present, they can tell these are social persons people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, these are Papa Jesus like Gilas people. They, see, there are, there are signs of the apostles. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There are gifts of the apostles. Yes, sir. There is yes, what sir. you also call the seal of the apostles. Yes, sir. Yes. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. So, but one of the, the first, first requirement of an apostle any person will call, any, any, any person can call. You know, today we live in a world where any person can call themselves apostle, apostle, apostle. Yes, sir, yes, sir. But the first sign yes, sir. of an apostle, whoever calls himself an apostle, 
if they are truthful to you, is that you must be someone Jesus appears to yes, sir. and gives you a mandate. Because Jesus is referred to as the chief apostle. And all apostles, no matter where they are in the world, they all answer to Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, the, prof the prophets don't answer to Jesus. The prophets answer to God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Fine. Jesus appeared to me. So, by extension, I can be referred to as an apostle because Jesus appeared to me. Yes, but really, the work, the work that was given to me, Jesus himself with his mouth told me that he called me to, that I was called to be a prophet and a teacher. So you see why I'm not, I can't really call myself apostle yes, sir. Yes, sir. because Jesus appeared to me. Because Jesus who appeared to me told me, you are a prophet and a teacher. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did you understand? Yes, sir. And every prophet of God yes. must be someone that has experienced the appearance of God oh, yeah. or the cherubims or the seraphims. These are the three. Yes, every sir. true prophet of God. Yes, Without that, you are not a prophet. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. But you see, some of these experiences, only you can tell whether it is true or not. Because sometimes when things like that happen, nobody is there to bear witness. Yeah. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yeah. That's why sometimes when somebody comes and says, I'm an apostle, you may say, well, you can't, say, well, can't tell. Maybe he saw Jesus. But maybe with time we'll get to know. Yes, see? Yes, but you see, even though I talk about how many times Jesus appeared to me, I still don't call myself apostle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because Jesus told me yes, sir. that actually I'm a prophet and a teacher. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. <laughs> and somebody says, have you seen God then? Oh, yeah. I've had visions. I've been, I've been to heaven many times. Where do you yes, think sir. I went to? Yes, sir. I've been to heaven many yes, times. Sir. Where people would die to go to. I've been there and back. There and back. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. So, and, and, and it's not, I hope you don't misunderstand what we're saying. No, it's not sir. pride, it's not arrogance. But yes, we're telling sir. you, maybe one day we'll take a class. What are the signs of an apostle? Mm. Obvious signs without prayer. You don't need to see vision. You can tell this one is an apostle, this one is not. Yes, sir. You can tell this one is a prophet or he's not. Yes, you can tell this one is an evangelist. There are criteria, like Philip that we read about, he's an evangelist. Yes, there are criteria. There are, there are manifestations that prove this person is, is an evangelist. Yes, but you might be calling an evangelist a prophet. Ah, yes, sir. One day we'll take those classes so that you can know which one is which. Yes, sir. So, so, so if somebody comes and says, call, call me pa Pastor OK, you say you are not Pastor OK. You are probably an apostle. You are not a pastor. Because until you walk in the fullness of what God called you into, you can never enjoy the benefits and manifest the potentials that office carries. Yes, and that's just the truth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But let us avoid the temptation. Now, Jesus said, for all the prophets. All the, all so, the prophets. And, and the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1, God, who at different times and in different ways, spake yes, to us through the prophets. Yes, you sir. see, God, yes, sir. the prophets are answerable to God. Yes, sir. Paul is an apostle today because Jesus appeared to him and gave him a mandate to yes. be yes, sir. an apostle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, <clears throat> somebody said, so, but why did Jesus decide to use you? See, if you listen to the tenses, how we told you Jesus spoke to me. Mm -hmm. He said, I brought you here. Yes, sir. I was not sent to America. I was brought to America. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. An apostle is a sent one. Do you understand? Jesus came to tell me why he brought me to America. Yes, sir. Do you understand? There's a difference between being sent and being brought. Do you understand? That's why Jesus didn't call me an apostle by himself. He told me I'm a prophet and a teacher. So that's why we brought you. Why? Because I carry the teaching grace too. Then he told me, do the teaching more and I will flow through you as a prophet. You see, that's why we say we can hear your conversation from the car and bring it in the lines of teaching. Yes, sir. We can discuss your matters because as we're talking, we're seeing things. We're just bringing it into... So if you're saying, you didn't tell me my name. Don't you know your name? <laughs> don't you, you didn't tell me my house address. Don't you know where you're coming from? Yes, sir. You don't know where you live? I do. <laughs> do I look like a post-service post man to go and tell you? You live in Macintosh Avenue. Okay, now, there's a reason why we read this verses 13. Yes, sir. Now, go to verses 12. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence. Why? Because, because all the prophets, all their prophecies gathered in the eras, the fulfillment of all those prophecies that have been prophesied from the very beginning, they finally accumulated in the eras of John the Baptist and initiated a spiritual riot. Yes, so everyone in the kingdom of heaven is prepared by prophecy. And now you are looking at a situation where the one with the most violent prophecy is the one that will take it. That's why we started looking at the lesson, spiritual forces. Yes, sir. That's why I can look at someone and know that because I'm conscious of what follows the person, even though I cannot see what follows that person physically, but because I'm conscious of what follows that person, I'm careful in the way I talk to the person. Yes, sir. This was one lesson um, Goliath did not learn. I mean, if for anything, you should, you should have sense to know. Why would a 17-year-old boy stand before me? If he has not eaten something. There must be something this guy has eaten. Other grown men are standing. One small guy says, I want to fight you. Even Goliath will say, I don't know what is pushing you. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. For the first time, Goliath began to use his God, his own God, to cause David. Because Goliath says, because Goliath was a child of a fallen angel. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah, like, ah, my God will destroy you. Mm -hmm. And he said, my own God will finish you. In fact, Goliath felt insulted when he saw yes, David. Yes. He said, am I a dog yes. oh. to fight you this much, Chinkolo? Yes. King David said, this Chinkolo that you are looking at, yes. the master of the yes. universe is yes, behind sir. me. Yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> you see why they say one with God is majority. Yes, so you see why you are making room for two. Uh. And Jesus is sleeping on you. Hey. <laughs> King, 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 King David. King David, <laughs> he's saying, I come in the name, in the character of God. <laughs> but here, he says, the kingdom of God, suffer, the kingdom of heaven, suffers violence. And only the violence takes it by force. So, let, let's see something about the nature of this violence. Mm -hmm. yes, sir, yes. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's see something that is prepared that, that causes this violence. Please give us your attention. Yes, sir. Because if you read Matthew chapter 23, hold on, Matthew chapter 23, you discover one time Jesus said to the people, um, the Pharisees and the scribes, they sit on Moses' seats. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, one thing you need to understand is that prophecy was what brought those people to the seat of Moses. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. That's why we read verses 13 yes, sir. Yes, to sir. you before this verse is 12. Yes, sir. That all the prophets and the teachers of the law prophesied. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So prophecy made certain Jews Pharisees. Mm. Yes, prophecy yes, made some of them priests, yes, anointed priests. Prophecy made some of them chief priests. Prophecy made some of them high priests. Yes, yes, prophecy made some of them serve wearing the ephod as Levites. Prophecy brought them there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, in the days of John the Baptist, you are going to see riot, mm -hmm. crisis yes, sir. that prophecy 
has caused. Yet all these prophecies came from God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what is God after? God is looking for strong men. Yes. Yes. Men that fire has have forged. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God, through prophecy, said, For this cause I raise Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Yes, sir. yes, sir. And God used prophecy to send Moses to go and challenge him. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To the extent both of them began to display spiritual power. This one would throw a rod on the floor, became a serpent. This one would, God was trying to flex the muscles of Moses yes, so that God can prove to everyone, beginning with Aaron, that only Moses can lead them. Yes, sir. So if you are not forged fully well by the violence in the kingdom of heaven, you can't last with God. Let's show you something. You see, he says, only the violent take it by force, right? Yes, sir. Now, you think Jesus just said what he said because he wanted to say it. Maybe he just wants to uh, just appreciate or make an eulogy for John the Baptist. He had not died yet, but he was like, let's just, you need to understand, he was, a, he, was he trained me, he tried for me, yeah. you know, just to celebrate him. Yeah. There's something Jesus was trying to say. And John the Baptist, no wonder when he was preaching, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. What John the Baptist was trying to tell them is, crisis is coming. Yes, sir. Yeah. The crisis prophecies are caused. Yes, sir. Prophecies will collide. Wow. Instruments, children of prophecies will collide. Wow. And prophecies will be pushing them. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Prophecy is a spirit. It's a yes, force. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, it will push them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Men will rise up by prophecy yes, sir. and challenge others who will be raised by prophecy. Yes, sir. Men will rise up by prophecy. They will challenge others who will be trained by prophecy. They will, they will collide. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why this thing is not for jokers. Yes, That's why if you are saying Jesus already fought all the battles. Hi. That's why they defeated. How can Jesus be that stupid? Was it not the same Jesus who is talking about the violence? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if he fought all the battles, yes. you don't need to do anything. Ah. Let's show you. If that is true, that Jesus already fought all the battles, you don't need to. If that is true, you are doomed. Ah. You are the most frustrated, stupid, Christian, idiot, miscarried, <laughs> new creation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're telling you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because if that is true, you are the most miserable Christian ever. Go to Matthew chapter 5. So that you know what Jesus said. This is Matthew chapter 11. Go to chapter 5. Then you know what we're telling you. You are joking, you know. You don't know what you have entered. See, church is too much. Every time, church, church, church. See that you don't know what you have entered. Uh, then you say, I, I, I'm also a Christian. You are also a Christian. <laughs> you don't know what you entered. You don't know you entered trouble. Okay. Matthew chapter 5. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Read verses 1 to 3. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Verses 1 to 3. 1 to go. Wait. You see that? <clears throat> That's the first group. Oh. There will be poor people. 
Okay, you don't understand. He says, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. This one, he says, you must be someone who is not attached to anything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, that's, that's the only way you can possess the kingdom of heaven. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. He says, theirs. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can have it for now, right? Yes, sir. Okay, but well, let's show you something. Go to verses, verses 10. Verses 10. Read. Yeah? Not those who are celebrated, those who are persecuted. Do you understand? You see what prophecy is causing? The poor is fighting for the yes, kingdom. Yes, sir. You see how the violence came about? Yes, sir. Jesus himself now is already prophesying. No? Yeah, that's true. He said, oh, prophesied until John. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The poor is fighting for, only, for ownership to the kingdom. Yes, sir. The poor in spirit. Yes, sir. Then those who have been persecuted. Yes, sir. Do, you know those who, do you know those who are persecuted? Yes, sir. Those are, the people who are persecuted are those who have. Jesus says in Mark chapter 10 verses 28 to 30. Mark chapter 10 verses 28 to 30. Jesus said, he said, um, uh, actually Simon Peter said, Master, we have left all to follow you. And Jesus said, whosoever has left father, mother, brother, sisters, houses, and lands shall in this world reap a hundredfold of houses, lands, brothers, and sisters with persecution. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So to be persecuted, you must be someone who has. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can't say you are suffering persecution and you are living in apartment 2B. Yes, you must be a property owner, yes, a land owner, yes, sir. Yes, sir. an asset holder. Yes, sir. To suffer yes. persecution. Yes, so yes. when some people say, I'm being persecuted for Christ, what do you have? Exactly, what do you have? Headlamp, we are not even fixed yet. The oh. right, the right headlamp has broken. You have not even fixed it for three years now. Oh. You say, Lord, I know that my Lamborghini is coming. Lamborghini. Oh. Which Lamborghini? You are crazy. Oh. So here when Jesus was saying, Blessed are those who are persecuted. To see that you walked out of everything and gathered so much returning. And people began to talk about you. Where did you get this money from? Where did you get this thing from? I uh, know it's doing rituals, oh, all these things. Church of nowadays, people's offering, oh, is this and that, is this and that. Jesus said, if you are able to survive that accusation, yes, you sir. own this kingdom. Yes, now, yes, here's the point. There are some who are poor in spirit, those who let go of everything. Yes. They were the first, Jesus said, own the kingdom. Yes. yes sir. Actually, the word, when it says theirs, it, if you see some version, it's the word inherit. Yes, sir. So, Jesus already gave them the kingdom of heaven. Yes, sir. Why those ones now are thanking the Lord? We own the kingdom of heaven. Another group is coming yes, with so much. Yes, you understand? Yes, so in the kingdom of heaven, yes. Yes, you have those who don't have. Yes, sir. And you have some of us who have so yes. much. Yes, sir. We are both in the kingdom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see the violence. Yes, sir. This one is saying you, have, you need to have. This one say, saying, let go of everything. Wow. Yeah. Jesus said, both of you collide. Ah. Prophecy brought all of them together. Yes, sir. John the Baptist was was the first group of people. Yes, sir. Those who are poor in spirit, letting go of everything. Jesus says it's a lie. Even Jesus had to carry offering plate, give offering. We need money. Pull money. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. We must have. We to, must have. To take care of 12 men. Yes, sir. Not teenagers, men. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If one is hungry, everybody is hungry. Yes, sir. <laughs> 
Are you not the one who said we should leave our jobs to come and follow you? You must feed us. You are crazy. You don't. You say your father can provide. You see why Jesus had to, to had to had to multiply five loaves. There's no market. There's no store around. If you don't give up, we will kill you. We are not playing. No. <laughs> now go to verses five. I want to show you something. Read verses five. Read verses five. You see that? Notice that. The meat them is gentle. If you are a gentle person, please, the kingdom of heaven is not for you. You are not a violent person. <laughs> you are not a violent person. So it's okay. You can, you can pursue things. You can pursue things that pertain to life. You can be a scholar, you can be a professor in college, you can pursue other things. But if you say God is bringing you into ministry, brother, <laughs> this thing is violence. Yes, yes, so I, 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 think, I think God is calling me into the ministry. Say, brother, you don't have what it takes to do ministry. You are too nice. You are too clean to do ministry. This thing is not for clean people. It's not for clean people. Ah, no, no, no. Ed, Ed, Jesus said, look, brother, know your place. It's Ed. Take my boss. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so, what if, what if I'm poor in spirit and I marry a man who who suffers persecution? I don't know how you will meet you. I don't know how you will meet. Uh, pastor brought both of us together. Oh yeah. You can be sure in that home. Yes, sir. There will be crisis. The lady gives everything. The man says everything. Even the new car I brought, the Holy Spirit told you to give it. There are families like that today. They must say, wait, 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 wait. That's not what I married you. Every time the Holy Spirit is always telling you to give away, give away. Microwave, you gave away. Everything. You gave, gave, gave. You are always giving away. Oh, the, <laughs> uh, the food pantries. Listen. In as much as we laugh, we play. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which is what the presence of God is all about. Yes, sir. The Bible says we, sh we should be careful not to engage in foolish jestings. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't be foolish in your jestings. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So there are, there are certain things you should not say. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't be careless with them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't do that. Mm. Paul, what was the last thing I was going to say? The food pantry. The food pantry. So, yes, the man goes, no food in this house. Ah, ah. The woman has carried paper, everything. everything. Rice, beans, and gave her. Say, you know, there are people, you know, this virus, people need food now. Yes. In California, there are so many homeless people. Yes. Of course, of course. I went to donate. I was praying the Lord revealed it to me that I need to donate and help... The man said, no problem. He struck one business deal. Money came. Bought things, bought things, bought houses. Uh, even bought a house in his wife's name. The wife saw the document and said, the Lord told me to, to give me confirmation. <laughs> the man said, sister. <laughs> I'm not doing it again. Pastor. Pastor, thank you very much. I believe God did not join us together. Pastor said, no, 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 there's no room for divorces and that. Brother, you didn't know the kingdom of heaven has violence. The violence is between the poor in spirits and those who have everything. This is not the kind of woman I wanted to marry. You should have just married a gentle woman who does not have... Who does not have, who does not have those kind of desires? Jesus said, if you know you are a JP, justice of peace, you know anywhere you go to, 
you know, say, I just want peace. I want yeah. everybody to be fine, yeah. you know, easy going. I, I don't, I don't harm anybody. I don't think anybody should harm me. Jesus said, brother, don't go to Bible college. Don't do ministerial school. If they want to make you a leader, say, pastor, I don't have what it takes to be a leader. I'm telling you, my own, my own inheritance yeah. is in the earth here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the other side. Just tell the pastor straight. You don't understand? Otherwise, Jesus will be lying. Know your place. Now, you wonder why you are serving God. You are frustrated. You are, you are battered. Hey, so I say, you didn't know. So Jesus is saying, know yourself before you start. Know yourself. I already know myself. That we must see the end of this matter. So I say, a, a, a pastor who is rugged in the spirit marries a lady and says, I believe that God called her into the ministry. Brother, you should know whether God really called you. Sister, don't do ministry. This, uh, but you know, by, by marriage to you, I'm uh, more or less the, the, the first lady of the ministry. The mama, see, you are first lady. It's good like that. Yeah. Yeah. The spirit has become one. Exactly. They say, two have become one. One oh. is true. But you are meek. I am rugged. Yes, sir. This will be crisis. Not God's problem. Yes, sir. Just stay where you are. Exactly, if you are, if, what do you do? What do you do professionally? I'm a banker. Fail, for, fail, face banking. Bring money. Will do the ruggedity of ministry. Do you understand? If that's the case, do you understand? Yes, sir. But to say, my wife, learn my way so that whenever I'm not around, my wife will come and stand in to yes. preach. But I know your woman. You know she's a very gentle person. Don't bring her into an environment of violence. This is the reason why there are some men of God today married excellent women. Listen. You see, I told you. Be careful about foolish gestures. There are men of God today who married... Glorious women. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Decent, decent, excellent women. Yeah. And these men of God powerfully rugged. It's true. But their wives suffered the most attack. It's true. Many at times with sickness. Yes. They'll be praying for people. Yes. Yet they'll be coming to give their own wives medications. Yes, it's true. Why? Because they brought their wives into a a vicious terrain yes, sir. Yes, sir. that the kingdom of heaven is. Trying to make them inheritors. When such people, I'm not saying every woman, when such people were supposed to inherit the earth. Okay. You know, we saw one video of Kamala Harris, Vice President Kamala Harris. She was doing, um, um, like, um, she was being interviewed with some other women, and somebody came and brought a knife and wanted to come and attack her or something. And uh, then she was still campaigning. Yes, sir. And because the security officials, including her husband, he jumped from where he was sitting in the audience yes. to come and help. Yes, sir. Ah, you guys, which kind of thing is this one? Because my wife is into policy, somebody wants to come and... <laughs> but you see, knowing what she was getting into, she was going to be a target to many. Yes, sir. Now, if that is the case politically, uh, how do you think it is spiritually? Exactly, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> how do you think it is? You know, President Joe Biden said one time, he said before he started out, he, he gathered his entire family, including his grandchildren, and yes. told them, look, man, I, I, just, I just believe that I need to do this thing. Yes, sir. He, said, he said, but I will only do it if we are all on board with this. Yes. He said, if any person here, including his grandchildren, if any of them disagrees, he will not do it. Yes. And they all said they agreed. And they gave their all to yes. it. And today he's, he's vice president. He's president. Yes. So, yes. But you cannot, you cannot say that the children don't see what some, some church pastors prophesied about their grandpa. You can't say Joe Biden's grandchildren did not see some of those postings on social media about their grandpa that is a satanist. But you see, it comes with the work. Yes, 
It comes with it. That's even in politics. How much more in the kingdom of heaven? Jesus said, know yourself before you know where, where you want to go and inherit. Now, notice, Jesus didn't even... Jesus did not even tell them they will go and inherit heaven. You know, heaven is a place of peace. Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven came from heaven. Yes, sir. There is violence, oh. Mm. So say, there is martial waiting for me in heaven. Jesus said, shut up. You better go and inherit somewhere in the earth. Inherit somewhere in the earth. Ah. You are not causing your own problem, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Say, God, I love you, but I don't have the liver to do this thing. No. Yeah. Yes, when I saw the pa I saw a demon do, I am a tanga before pastor. Hey, I'm a mimosa. Ah. <laughs> and I saw the way pastor confronted the demon and, and casted out the demon. Ah. Lord, I don't have the liver to face demon. No. Lord, if it is Pennsylvania, you give me to inherit. I'm grateful. <laughs> He says, theirs is the earth. The gentle people. And it's a blessing. He said, blessed are they. It's a blessing. But if you say you are entering the walk, you face challenges. That's why you can see some men. They may not go to church, but they can give money to us church. Say, you people should do. That's why their life is sweet, organized. <laughs> Say, I don't, I don't have the mind. I don't have the mind to go and do ministry. When you see a Papa Papa Joshua Gila, you sit around him. One on one. He, as far as I'm concerned, he's the most gentle person I've ever met. But it's not gentle. Exactly. Oh. For him to come this far in ministry, that will tell you there is spiritual violence. Yes, because for everyone he delivers, so their so demons are angry. Yes, then you now want to go and marry one sister Suzanne. That is, that doesn't like, ah, you know, ministry, I'm just careful, I know, let him go. All those demons, you cast her, we are going to your house. Hey. It's your wife who will go and look for. Ah. Oh. No, 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 no. You see? Hey. This we even tell you in how you choose a life partner. Now, listen, listen. If God really called you, not that, it doesn't mean that your family is vulnerable to attack, really. Do you understand? Yes. The enemy will not just step into your house. And say, because your wife is a weakling, they will come and step. No, the enemy doesn't just do that. He will study what your relationship is with your partner. Exactly, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. If she's someone that you are fond of, he knows that he can't have access there. There are some people who are not fond of their spouses. It doesn't mean they don't love their spouses. It, do you understand? They are not fond of them. It, for instance, now, the man wants to pray. The woman says, let's go to the beach. The, the, beach now. the Holy Spirit wants to talk to me. They say, okay, say you will go to the beach. I want to pray. You know those kind of things? They are just something, if you are not fond of, there are occasions where sometimes the Lord may say he needs to talk to you. But if that becomes like the constant practice, the enemy can find a way there. Because she can see Kennedy at the beach. Exactly. And Kennedy will say, something just told me to go to the beach that day. And your wife says she wants to go to the beach. No, she says, don't go to the beach. There's swimming, there's swimming pool here. We'll go and bring sand. We'll pull. <laughs> say, 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 no. The wife says, ah, I want to turn. He says, which turning? You're already black. What are you turning? <laughs> Oh, Lord. Lord, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. So, the brother, see, you don't understand. Okay. Now, see, <laughs> see what Jesus said. <laughs> Jesus liked trouble. Okay. Read verses 8. Go to verses 8. Let's begin to close. Yes, sir.
Who is it now? Let them have a pure heart, for they shall see God. See that? If you are pure in heart, you will see God. So say, brother, see. I don't think my mind is pure. <laughs> he, <laughs> he, <laughs> yeah, 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 he wasn't referring to your mind. So the, I don't know whatever is referring to. <laughs> I just know that I'm not pure. God, God, thank you very much. I know you are there. Even if I don't see you, no problem. <laughs> Lord, I am very violent. Yes, I can be very violent. The kingdom of heaven is what I want. Whether I see you, mm. <laughs> you can't be this violent and you say you want to be, you want to be pure. <laughs> but Sister Lemon says, Blessed are you when men revile. People say nasty things about you and persecute you. And, sh and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven. <laughs> for so persecutors did the prophets which were before you. So which means the kingdom of heaven is a place full of prophets that were persecuted. You see why their spirits are raging. Stirring me up. There's fight. Yes, sir. 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 So what's it? What does it? I really thank you for these lessons. Ah, I found my calling. <laughs> ah, I don't want problem. Brothers, you don't understand. I don't like, even if I ask my family members, I don't like problem at all. Now I know God did not come into the ministry. That prophet who said God has come into the ministry is a lie. His spirit wants to use me to cause problem. <laughs> you see? And this is the reason why you must be careful when you say you want to do ministry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You must be very, very, very honest with yourself. Yes, sir. Why you want to do ministry. Yes, sir. And in choosing leaders, there are, there are people you choose as leaders to do administration within the ministry, yes, within sir. the yes, church. Yes, Fine. It's okay. But in terms of doing the spiritual aspect, because there are two sides to ministry, mm -hmm. yes, sir. to the work of God. There are two yes, sides. So you have the administrative side which will require your intelligence, your skill, you know, physical abilities. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then you have the spiritual side. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And w yes, sir. Jesus is telling us the spiritual side is very violent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The spiritual side. Now, if you are coming from that kind of atmosphere, and you say you want to go and submit to someone who is on the administrative side and say such a person is your spiritual father, you have just brought problem to their life. See, you know, there's a way you can look at yourself spiritually and say, ah, so so person cannot be my spiritual father. Yes. Yes. Ah. Yes. I need the one who, who is higher yes. than I. Yes. Who is violent. Yes. 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 <laughs> That's why only John the Baptist yes. could be Jesus' spiritual exactly. father. When Jesus was told his father, Joseph, he said, who is my Who is that one? Yeah. Yeah. That, that woman rapper. Ah. He said, your father is calling you. He said, who is my father? Ah, hey, who is? Umarapa means, is a, is a colloquial expression that means a sissy. Yes, that sissy that listens to mommy all the time. Anything my mother says is what he does. That's what it means by Umarapa. Yes, sir, yes, but he said, that's his own definition of love. He calls it love. Yes, sir. Oh. So, you know, some people interpret romance yes, that way. Yes, if the man, I want the man who listens to me, as though you talk right. Yes, yeah, there are some ladies like that. I want, I want a man. No, I'm not saying every woman is stupid. No. There are some ladies sometimes. You already know that this is this one, you are crazy. Do you understand? They, see, I'm not talking to I'm trying to communicate something. There are some ladies you know they talk nonsense. Then the lady now says the kind of man she wants in a relationship is somebody who listens to her. 
Even God told Adam, <laughs> because you listen to this, your wife, get out of this garden. Get out of this garden. You understand? It doesn't mean that a man should not listen to his woman, but a man should just know this woman. Anything, anytime I listen to you, it causes problems. You understand? So say, if you don't listen to it, it will cause problems. He said, that one is better. <laughs> that that problem with God. That's just the truth. No, but a man can tell whether he married a wise woman or a foolish woman. I mean, a woman who told her husband, after 10 children died, cause God and die. Does that look like somebody you should listen to? Job said, Madam, you are stupid. You are, you are crazy. <laughs> Some say, I, I, I need to listen to her. My wife said I should cause God. God, I'm going to cause you. God, God is not my fault. It's just that my wife said I should do it. Because your wife. I'm coming to see both of you. <laughs> so, so before a woman says, uh, he doesn't listen to me. You, you woman, ask yourself, really. Are you somebody that... Are you worth listening to? Ask you, as in only you can answer the question and only you ask yourself the question. We are not asking you. We are just telling you to ask yourself. Yeah. <laughs> then the same thing too goes for a man where a man yeah. says, I, 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 I need a woman who listens to me. But that. Exactly. <laughs> it's easy to tell whether a man is worth listening to. Look at his life. Yes, Even the way he says, look at you that are managing it. You hey. that... I mean, I'm the, you always make bad choices, even in business. You say I should listen to you. You, know? you don't listen to me. I'm the head of this room. Hey. Brother, you, you this, you this Kennedy. You say you are the head of which room? This room. This room that we're managing. We are patching it because of your bad choices. When we say let's pay rent, you say let's throw it into oil business. Now, Joe Biden has removed pipes from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> it's green new dinner. Ah, yes. Oyana, where's the money now? You wanted to borrow your cousin's children to add for tax for this year. Is it? So, so there are some men they just keep making bad decisions, and you see them. You see these things in in many families. Many families. A man and a woman. I don't understand the sanity. A man and a woman. In fact, it is very insane. There's no sanity in it. A man and a woman, husband and wife, they have children. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because sometimes it looks like they have forgotten that they have children. They have children. Give birth to children. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which means that apart from God, giving to the work of God, giving to God, their children is their responsibility. Yes, sir. Their children should never have issues going to the best schools in town. Yes, sir. But these parents... They will send their children to community colleges to go and build big, big houses in the villages. This parent will go and build a mega mansion in the village. Yet his child is going to a community college overseas. Which means, of a truth, the house was worth more than the child you have. Who even bears your name? And even after you finish building the house, one of your younger siblings, who is vicious, he will take it away from you. You're violent to get it by far. And all those parents, I don't get it. I mean, if you have four children, let three graduate first. Let them go to the best school, graduate, have good jobs. Before you think of start building a house. At least the three can make contributions with you. Yes, you can sponsor the, yeah, the yeah, least yeah, one. Yeah, if yeah. that is how you want to run it. Yeah, Although they are not supposed to do it that way. But man. I, because not doing it the way it should be done. You are already setting your children on the path of poverty. So a child graduates now thinking of loan. I mean, a child on graduation day, that smile is fake. Oh, it's the fakest smile. Ooh. You are throwing her. Throwing her to who? Ah, it will come down. Then you go and pay. <laughs> you go and pay. You, you are still owing them. And while they were sitting there, those professors, the, the school, the university legislature, the administrations, they all sat down. They were looking at you. They called your name. Uh, Kelly McIntosh. You were catwalking to come and collect, collect, collect certificates. 
Oh, you did like you. You did like oh. when you finish. <laughs> Come and pay us. <laughs> we allowed you to graduate. Go and get a job. So I say, hey, you should understand. I work in Dunkin' Donuts. Oh. I did not graduate there. Go and bring us money. And these parents, they add to the burdens their children carry. And I recall many parents were upset when we started preaching it. And we were telling them the truth. That they are contributing to the burdens their children carry. Anyway, so I said, Brother, you know, the reason why I did that is because I'm meek. You are not meek, Jack. Which meek? You say, Blessed are the meek, you are meek. And you will not send your child to school. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, let's go to verses 14. Yes, sir. Jesus said, You are the light of the world. Yes, sir. Irrespective of whether you are in the kingdom of heaven, yes, sir. whether yours is the earth, yes, sir. whether yours is seeing God, yes, sir. it doesn't matter. You are still the light yes, of this world. Yes, sir! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which means, irrespective of our squabbles in church, yes. outside, we should have a unified front yes. Yes, sir! and project the light of God. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Wow. I should not say because I'm from Champions Royal Assembly, I should not be able to help a Baptist. No, we are all Christians together. Yes, sir. We should have a unified front. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We may have dissent in theology and doctrine, mm -hmm. but as Christians in the office place, mm. we should have a unified front. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus said, yes, sir. Yes, you are the light of the world. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, say I'm the light of the world. Light of the world. Then he says, let me describe your light. Yes. Yes, sir. You are a city that has been set on a hill. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, there is violence in, that, in your midst. Yes, okay, read. Neither do men light a candle. But on a candlestick. Okay. You see that? Give light to everyone around you. Yes, sir! Irrespective of what is happening yes. with your Christian yes. life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Irrespective of the dissatisfaction happening within the Christian world that you don't seem to like. He yes. says, but still be the light to those who have not come in yet. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I receive. You see, when I was a banker, and of course I later became a group financial controller, I had access to money. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was once faced with a situation where I needed money to pay for something that was very urgent. Mm -hmm. And I had the company's money. Yes, and I had every reason to take it and explain it, or I could say deduct it from my salary or from my allowance from this. And before God, for every organization I've ever worked in, I've never cheated that organization, even though I had a pressing need. It just would not, not sit to itself, cross my mind. I don't even give attention to it. I just would not do it. It was just not in me, irrespective of the money I was controlling. I just would not do it. Just would not do it. I just don't really fancy it. But some people, they don't have issues with things like that. But it doesn't make them less yes, sir. Yes, sir. Christians. Maybe that's how they fight their own violent battles. But it doesn't make them less. Yes, sir. Because Jesus already told us from the beginning, there's violence in the work. Yes, sir! And so if you say, you want to do it the way I do it, you might miss it. So Jesus is saying, understand yourself first. Yes, sir! Understand your temperaments and then know 
where you are coming into. Whether you can really do it. You see why Jesus says, sit down to count the cost. Yes, sir. Okay, now. He says, let your light so shine. Yes, yes sir. Before men. Amen. Yes, sir. Let them see your good works. Yes, yes, yes sir. sir. Even though you are fighting a violent yes. fight. Yes, sir. Let them see, see your good works. Yes, sir. Yes. And then give your father glory. Amen. Yes, sir. Let them Amen. see yes. your good work. Yes, sir. Yes. Wow. Let your light so shine. Let men see your good work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then give the Father glory for yes, it. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wonderful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Irrespective of what you will end up inheriting in your life with God, he said, but most importantly, yes. in all, yes. Yes, sir. let your light shine. Yes. yes, sir. The kingdom of heaven is tough. Yes. yes, sir. We fight each other every day. We war with prophecies every day. Yes, sir. And the war here, yes, the violence in the kingdom of heaven, is not prepared by demonic forces, but rather prophecies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My prophecy conquers all. Here, yes, he's not telling you. In spite of that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let it always be. Yes, sir. That what comes out from you yes, yes, sir. Yes. can give men direction for yes, life. Yes, when he says when he says light here. Yeah, Light yes, sir. illuminates, it gives, it gives awareness. Yes, sir. Light shows you this is the path to take. Yes, sir. If you take that path, you will enter, you will hit a ditch. You see, you drive even in, in darkness with light. Yes, sir. So you are able to navigate your way. Here, light brings safety. So yes. here, Jesus is saying, let men find safety I around you. Yes. And thank God for having you around. Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So here Jesus is telling us, irrespective of how you came yes. into Christianity yes. and how your Christian journey and experience has been, let it be that it results to only one thing. Yes. Yes, sir. And that thing is not about going to heaven. Exactly. Yes, sir. It is all about making men glorify God for having you around them. Yes, sir. Having you around them. Let it be that people say, since the day I met you, my life became better and best. Since the day I met you, my life started going higher, 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 higher. Since the day I met you. Yes, sir. The right colors came to yes. my life. Yes. Let it be that. Yes, sir. Let it be that. Let it be that people will testify. Yes, sir. That, that since the day they met you, yes, sir. fear disappeared from them. Yes, sir. They are no longer afraid. Yes, sir. They used to be afraid before yes, sir. until they met you. Yes, sir. you see that? So Jesus is telling you, it matters what happens to the people around you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what this thing is all about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So when we come to church and we hear the word of God, it's so that our light can shine brighter, brighter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. for people around us yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. to find direction and hope for life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So make a decision tonight. Yes, sir. From this day forward, yes, sir. my light is going to shine brighter. Yes, and men around me will give glory to God continually, to God continually, to God continually. 